Hi and welcome to Scotty Wandering and another campground tour in the Squamagan Nicolay National Forest. And this time, Black Lake Campground. My name is Peter, and after a long gravel drive, a couple miles on the gravel road, we are going to go check out what this campground has to offer. Our first stop is going to be the walk-in sites, 27, 28, and 29. Let's go check those out. Well, after a little bit of confusion, camp post is over there. I got a parking area, and it's a trailhead for the Black Lake Trail. Nothing out here says something about those campsites. So I wandered down the trail and you have to get a few feet down the trail before you finally see a sign that says trail and campsites. And off we go. Well, I'm at the first site. Wasn't that far off. Since there's no cars out there, I'm hoping they're all empty. This is a very rough path in. Little tent site. There's room for a tent right over there. The rest of this, not so much. And let's follow the trail down to the water. See what it's like. Nothing special here. Other than a nice view of a quiet lake. Alright, continuing down the trail. I haven't seen anything that references if these are reservable or not. So they may be first come, first serve. There's 28. I don't see any signage indicating that someone even has it would have it reserved if they wanted to it's a compact site i think your tent goes there it's the only flat spot i can see for a tent firing table interesting that it's a handicap table and something that resembles a path over to the water well more of a view of the water Back out on the trail, looking for that last campsite. Well, that answers my question. 29 is a reservable site. The other two are first come, first serve. This one has a reservation that tonight or tomorrow. Someone is going to be coming in here. It's much bigger than the others, much nicer than the others, sort of. It's still not. No flat spot. I don't even know where the tent goes here. Not a great site. It's all very lumpy and bumpy. But you have good access to the water down here. Right over here. Nice sandy bottom. A little bit of tannin in the water. So it's not a clear lake. It's a dark lake. Still a very pretty spot. Know that that's a good long hike in, and uh, where's the uh, facilities? Oh, no, let me go check over here. Ah, across the road is the pit toilet. All right, I'm at the fee station for Black Lake uh, Campground. There is no cell service out here, so good luck with that. Um, looks like I have a total of 29 sites. I've already done the first three at those walk-ins. And I'm going to walk the whole thing. It's, it's a whole long path here. And these sites are $15 a night. Some of them are um, reservable through recreation.gov and others are first come first serve. Remember, even if it is reserved, a reservable site, check the dates. If they do not match the dates you are here or the time you plan on staying, you can just grab those and pay your fee here. So let's go check out those sites and see if there's a really good site worth checking out. Site one, reservable. And like I said, 
I am here on the 14th. This one isn't reserved till the 25th. So I could nab this site for the next week if I wanted. Um, nice wide site. There's a lot of room here. Let's see what's down the path. Now there is a path that kind of leads you down to the water, but there's also a path along here. So any of the sites near the water are gonna have this path of people potentially walking by. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm gonna let you know I do these tours so you can see what you're reserving if you wanna reserve in advance. Because the pictures, if they even have them, usually don't do them justice or tell you much. So I'm going to focus on the sites that are reservable and give you a hint of what the sites that are non-reservable are like. Because those sites you just show up, decide if you like it or not. If you do, book it if it's available. Site 2 on the water side. Nice site. Pretty long, straight, not as wide as the last one. Site three on the water on the wooded side, very soft and mossy. Uh, first come, first serve. This is a great tent site. This has got some really soft place to put your tent. Okay, four on the water side, non-reservable. First come, first serve. So you can come in and nab this if it's available. Pretty wide. There is sort of a rolling path going down. That's a very wide site. You can do a lot with this one, but hey, that's first come first serve, as well as five over here on the wooded side. Very nice little space. That would be the person over in the next site. Okay, six is reservable. Not super deep, but very wide. Do a lot here, it's on the water side. That is a very wide site. You can still get a fairly large rig here and then park your vehicle to the side. Seven on the other side is first come, first serve. Nice wooded, shaded, grassy site. Site eight on the water side, reservable. Got this tree to give you some nice shade close by. Big room for a large vehicle here if you want, or a ton of tents room. Across from that is a pair of pit toilets. And then we come over to site nine, which is first come, first serve on the water side. Again, fairly long, not quite as wide as the last one, but still quite a bit of room. Site 10, reservable with nothing on the board. So that's available for a couple of weeks coming out right now. And very wide, very long. Big rigs can fit in there. Site 11 is the first of the wooded reservables. It is very wide, very deep, so you should be very comfortable here. It does have a little upward slope, but you should be able to level off for that. And then we have access to the beach, and note it is 10 minute parking at the beach side. There is a Baker pump over here. That is a Baker pump, right? No, that's something else. I don't know what that is. Let's go down to the beach. All right, coming down. It's mostly a grass bowl here and a nice little sandy beach down there. Pretty quiet lake out here. It's good clean water, it just has that tint of tannin to darken it up. 12 is across from the beach on the wooded side, non-reservable, pretty long, first come, first serve. All right. All right, this is a 13, reservable on the water side. It is a monster. This thing is huge and wide and grassy. 14 across from there, there's a dip coming in here, it's reservable. It's not the flattest, not the smoothest going in, but generally it's flat and it's across from the beach. 15 is reservable, not as big as this neighbor, but it would make a great pair if you reserve them together, connected, and had that beach access. All right, 16 is reservable and not the best one. 
I'm going to tell you flat out, I would not recommend. This is all kinds of bumpy and hilly, short over here. People dug in to level it off. Slopes down, not even a level place for a tent, and then the trail off. Not the best one, not recommended. 17, first come, first serve, better than the last one, that's for sure. Um, it does slope down, but at least it's a smooth slope down, and there's a good place down there for a tent. All right, site 18, reservable. Someone just left. So this one had someone here until today. They left. It's not super long, but big enough. Nice wide, great place for a tent, and a nice view of the water. And remember, you can go down and follow that trail down to the beach. I can see exactly they were parked here, their wheels were there, their mat was here, their runoff in the sink and their water was here and here because they got little divots. It's interesting how you can tell exactly what has just happened in the campsite. After a bit of a gap, we get to 19, park straight back and lots of room off to the side to hang out and enjoy the day. Just past that site, we have the road down to the boat ramp. There's the end of the loop over there. We'll get to that after we check out the boat ramp. Okay, at the boat ramp, we have a garbage collection, a good strong breeze, and a paved boat ramp. And the pavement goes in a ways, so it's a safe boat, safe ramp to safe ramp to put your boat in. Okay, the back side of that loop there are no sights. But there is, down here at the end of the loop, a trail heading that way. And an interpretive trail about logging history that takes you around the whole lake and I think also goes around over by those um, walk-in sites. Okay, now we're at the far end of the campground. Site 20, on the water side, reservable. Let's see what this one has to offer. We do have quite a bit of room to put a rig here and a nice place for some tents over there if you want. All right, 21, reservable. Whoo, that's a big one. That is a big site. There's a little slope coming in, but once you get to here, you're already flat. This is an oversized site. You do a lot with this one. Have fun. Talk about a contrast. This is 22. This is not an oversized site. This is a small site, very short. It's wide, but still not a lot. The, the room in the site is what's on the side of the other one. 23 across the road from that non-reservable, lovely little grassy tent site. There's not a lot of sites that are mostly grass. This would be great for tenting. And shiny new pit toilets on the wooded side from there. And overflow parking. All right, 24, reservable. Let's call it a mid-sized size site. It's not super long, but fairly long. You can put a big rig and have to park your car next to it. Plenty of room off to the side. Interesting bench next to the fire ring over here. Someone had some fun making that. And then there's a little trail heading down to the water. 25, reservable. Let's see, this reservation just ended. A grassier site, fairly long. It's not a gravelly site. So it would be a preferred site if you want a tent and have a lot of room. Not a bad site at all. And this would be the last non-reservable site at 26. Slopes up. First come, first serve. In the woods. And again, an excellent tent site. Very soft and grassy and mossy. So that's Black Lake uh, Campground in the Shiguamigan Nicolay National Forest. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Um, I'll have a complete playlist of all of my Shiguamig and Nicolay National Forest campgrounds right here, as well as I'll throw in some uh, 
Wisconsin State Park Campgrounds and State Forest Campgrounds and a playlist there. So I appreciate you coming along on the journey with me. Um, subscribe, like the channel if you like. If you want to see more of this, get on out there and watch out for elk. <laughs>